Welcome to our channel, where we bring you engaging conversations covering a wide range of topics such as family, work, travel, cuisine, holidays, nature, housing, and childhood. Whether you're just beginning your English journey or striving for fluency, our dialogues offer valuable language practice and cultural insights. Let's embark on this English learning journey together. Good morning. Morning. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. Did you do anything fun over the weekend? Yeah, I went hiking with some friends. It was awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun. I just stayed home and watched movies. Nothing wrong with a relaxing weekend. So, what's the plan for today? I need to finish some homework in the morning, and then I have soccer practice in the afternoon. What about you? I have to go grocery shopping after class. We're having a barbecue tonight. Sounds delicious. Can I come? Of course. The more, the merrier. Great. I'll see you after practice then. See you later. Hey there. How's it going? Hey, I'm doing all right. Thanks. What about you? Pretty good. I've been settling into my new apartment lately. Nice. Whereabouts is your place? It's in the downtown area, not too far from the office. How about you? How's your place? It's in the suburbs. A bit quieter, but still close enough to the city. Say, do you have any hobbies? Yeah, I love hiking and photography. How about you? I'm into cooking and gardening. Speaking of which, what's your favorite food? Definitely pizza, especially with extra cheese and pepperoni. How about you? I'm a sucker for a good burger, especially with some fries on the side. Sounds delicious. By the way, when's your birthday? It's in September. What about yours? Mine's in May. Oh, and are you studying or working right now? I'm actually in college, studying business. How about you? I'm working at a tech company downtown. What's your favorite spot in the city? Probably the park by the river. It's so peaceful there. How about you? I love the view from the top of the skyscraper downtown. It's breathtaking, especially at night. Definitely. Well, it was great catching up. Let's grab lunch sometime soon. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. Just finished up some work at the office. What about you? I'm good. Just got back from my college classes. By the way, where do you work? I work at a marketing agency downtown. It's pretty fast-paced, but I enjoy it. What about you? Where do you go to college? I'm studying at the university on the east side. It's a great campus, and the professors are fantastic. That's awesome. So what do you like to do in your free time? I'm really into playing guitar and painting. How about you? I love going to the gym and trying out new recipes. Speaking of which, do you have a favorite type of cuisine? Mexican food, tacos, burritos, you name it. What about you? I'm a fan of Italian cuisine. Can't resist a good plate of pasta. Oh, and when's your birthday? It's in July. What about you? Mine's in November. Hey, do you live in an apartment or a house? I'm in an apartment downtown. It's cozy, but I'm hoping to get a house eventually. How about you? I'm in a house in the suburbs. It's nice and quiet, perfect for unwinding after a long day. So, what's your favorite place in the city? I love going to the art museum. It's so inspiring. How about you? I enjoy going to the botanical gardens. It's like a little slice of paradise in the city. Well, it was great chatting with you. Let's catch up again soon. Definitely. Take care. You too. Hi there. Hey, it's been busy. Just got back from a hike in the mountains. What about you? How's your day going? Sounds like a great way to spend the day. I've been working on some DIY projects at home. By the way, where's your favorite hiking spot? I love hiking in the national park nearby. The trails are amazing. Do you have any favorite outdoor activities? Camping. There's nothing like spending a weekend in nature. Oh, and speaking of homes, do you live in an apartment or a house? I'm in a house in the suburbs. It's got a nice backyard where I can relax. How about you? I'm in an apartment downtown. It's convenient, but I miss having a garden. So, what do you do for work? I'm a graphic designer at a tech startup. It's a creative environment, which I love. What about you? I work in marketing at a fashion company. It's fast-paced, but I enjoy the industry. By the way, when's your birthday? It's in March. What about yours? Mine's in September. Oh, and do you have any favorite hobbies besides hiking? I enjoy playing basketball and doing photography. How about you? I like playing the piano and reading. Say, what's your favorite type of music? I'm into indie rock and jazz. How about you? I'm a fan of classical music and hip-hop. Hey, have you ever traveled outside the country? Yeah, I've been to Europe a couple of times. It was an amazing experience. How about you? I've traveled to Asia and South America. Each trip was unforgettable. Well, it was great catching up. Let's grab coffee sometime soon. Definitely. Take care. You too. Hey, how's it going? 
Hey, I'm doing well, thanks. Just got back from a yoga class. What about you? Nice. I've been catching up on some reading. By the way, where do you practice yoga? I go to a studio downtown. It's got a great atmosphere. Do you have any favorite fitness activities? I enjoy running in the park and doing high height workouts. Keeps me energized. Speaking of which, do you have any dietary preferences? I'm vegetarian. I love exploring new plant-based recipes. How about you? I'm omnivorous, but I try to eat healthy most of the time. Oh, and do you have any pets? Yeah, I have a cat named Luna. She's my little furball of joy. What about you? I have a dog named Max. He's always full of energy and keeps me on my toes. So, what do you do for work? I'm a software engineer at a tech company. It's challenging, but rewarding. What about you? I work in education, teaching English to foreign students. It's fulfilling to see them progress. By the way, when's your birthday? It's in December. What about yours? Mine's in May. Oh, and do you have any favorite travel destinations? I love exploring national parks. Yellowstone is one of my favorites. How about you? I enjoy cultural trips. Japan and Italy are at the top of my list. Well, it was great chatting with you. Let's do this again soon. Definitely. Take care. You too. Hey there, how's your day going? Hey, it's been good. Just finished a painting session in my studio. What about you? Sounds creative. I've been exploring some new recipes in the kitchen. By the way, what's your favorite type of cuisine to cook? I love cooking Italian food. Pasta dishes are my speciality. How about you? I enjoy cooking Mexican cuisine. Tacos and guacamole are my go-to. Speaking of food, do you have any favorite restaurants in town? There's this cozy Italian restaurant downtown that I love. The pasta there is to die for. What about you? There's a Mexican joint nearby that makes amazing street tacos. I can't get enough of them. So do you have any hobbies besides painting? I enjoy playing the guitar and writing songs. It's my way of expressing myself. How about you? I like photography and hiking. Nature always inspires me. Oh, and do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have a younger sister. She's studying art in college. What about you? I have an older brother who's a chef. He's the one who got me into cooking. By the way, when's your birthday? It's in June. What about yours? Mine's in October. Say, do you have any favorite movies or TV shows? I'm a fan of classic movies like Casablanca and TV shows like Breaking Bad. How about you? I enjoy sci-fi movies and series like Interstellar and Stranger Things. Well, it was great chatting with you. Let's catch up again soon. Definitely. Take care. You too. Hello, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well. Just got back from a bike ride around the neighborhood. What about you? I've been doing some gardening in my backyard. By the way, do you have any favorite outdoor activities? Besides biking, I love going for hikes on the nearby trails. Nature is so refreshing. How about you? I enjoy picnics in the park and playing frisbee with friends. So, do you have any pets? Yeah, I have a dog named Buddy. He's my loyal companion. What about you? I have a cat named Whiskers. She's quite the independent one. Speaking of animals, do you have any favorite wild animals? I love dolphins. They're so graceful and intelligent. How about you? I'm fascinated by wolves. They're such majestic creatures. So what do you do for work? I'm a graphic designer at a creative agency. It's a lot of fun. What about you? I work in marketing at a fashion company. It's fast-paced but exciting. By the way, when's your birthday? It's in April. What about yours? Mine's in August. Oh, and do you have any favorite books or authors? I'm a fan of fantasy novels by J.R.R. Tolkien and George R.R. R. Martin. How about you? I enjoy mystery novels by Agatha Christie and thrillers by Stephen King. Well, it was great chatting with you. Let's do this again soon. So, have you tried any new recipes lately? Yeah, I experimented with a Thai curry recipe last weekend. It turned out pretty tasty. That sounds delicious. I've been meaning to try my hand at some new dishes, too. By the way, do you have any favorite cuisines? I'm a big fan of Mediterranean food. The flavors are always so vibrant and fresh. How about you? I love Mexican cuisine, especially street tacos and enchiladas. Speaking of food, do you have any dietary restrictions? Not really, although I try to eat mostly plant-based meals. How about you? I'm pretty flexible with my diet, but I try to eat healthy most of the time. Oh, and have you ever traveled outside the country? Yeah, I've been fortunate to travel to a few different countries in Europe and Asia. Each trip was an amazing experience. How about you? I've traveled to some countries in South America and Africa. The cultural diversity was fascinating. By the way, do you have any favorite travel destinations? 
I love visiting tropical islands. The beaches and clear blue waters are so relaxing. How about you? I'm drawn to historical cities with rich architecture and culture. Places like Rome and Kyoto are high on my list. So, do you have any hobbies besides cooking? I enjoy playing the piano and going hiking in the mountains. How about you? I like photography and practicing yoga. It helps me unwind after a busy day. Well, it was great catching up. Let's do this again soon. Thanks. Definitely. You too. Have a great day. Have you had a chance to explore any new hobbies lately? Actually, yes. I've been learning to play the guitar. It's been quite challenging, but also very rewarding. What about you? Lee, that's fantastic. I've been trying my hand at painting. It's been a great way to unwind after work. By the way, do you have any favorite hobbies? Besides playing guitar, I enjoy hiking and photography. Nature always inspires me. How about you? I like cooking and gardening. There's something satisfying about creating something from scratch. Speaking of which, do you have a favorite type of cuisine? I'm a big fan of Italian food. Pizza and pasta are my comfort foods. What about you? I love Mexican cuisine, especially tacos and guacamole. They're always a hit at parties. Oh, and have you traveled anywhere interesting lately? Not recently, but I did take a trip to Japan last year. It was an incredible experience. How about you? I went on a road trip across the country. It was amazing to see so many different landscapes and cultures. So, do you have any favorite travel destinations? I love visiting historical cities like Rome and Kyoto. The architecture and culture are so rich. How about you? I'm drawn to natural wonders like the Grand Canyon and the Swiss Alps. The beauty of the great outdoors is breathtaking. Well, it was great catching up. Let's do this again soon. Definitely. Take care. You too. In this video, you will learn about daily life conversations that Americans do in their daily life. Before we start, please like and subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Thank you. Let's go. Husband-wife conversation in the night I'm heading to bed. Are you coming soon? Yeah, just finishing up a few things here. Mind turning off the lights when you're ready? No problem. I'll be there in a few minutes. Yawns. Did you find that book you were looking for earlier? Yeah, finally. It was hiding under a pile of papers on my desk. Classic hiding spot for things in this house? True. All right. I'll see you in bed soon. Don't stay up too late. I'll try not to. Good night. Hey, before I forget, did you remember to lock the front door? Oh, shoot. I think I forgot. I'll go check on it. Thanks, love. I'll be waiting for you in bed. All good. Door's locked now. I'll be there in a minute. Perfect. I'll keep the bed warm for you. See you soon. Hey, did you set the alarm for tomorrow morning? Yep. All set. We're good to go. Great. Thanks. I always forget about it. No worries. That's what I'm here for. To remember the little things. You're the best. All right. I'll be there shortly. Don't fall asleep before I get there. I'll try my best, but no promises. See you soon, sleepyhead. Hey, did you turn off the stove after dinner? Oh, shoot. I forgot. Let me go check right now. Thanks. Safety first. All good. It's off now. Thanks for reminding me. No problem. Just making sure we don't wake up to a smoky kitchen. I'll be waiting for you in bed. I'll be there in a minute. Good night. Husband and wife talk on hobby. Hey, do you want to go for a hike this weekend? That sounds great. I was thinking of trying out my new camera. Perfect. I love seeing the pictures you take. And speaking of hobbies, have you made progress on that woodworking project? Yeah, I've been working on it whenever I can. It's coming along, slowly but surely. How about your painting? Have you started on that landscape you mentioned? I did. It's turning out to be a fun project. By the way, have you considered joining the local biking group? I've been thinking about it. Riding with a group might be more motivating. And what about your book club? How's the latest read? Oh, it's fascinating. We're discussing it next week, and I can't wait to share my thoughts. That's awesome. Our hobbies keep things interesting, don't they? Absolutely. They add so much joy and variety to our lives. I'm thinking of starting a herb garden in the backyard. What do you think? That's a cool idea. I've been wanting to try my hand at gardening, too. Maybe we can set it up together this weekend. That sounds like a plan. And remember that cooking class I mentioned? I found one nearby. Count me in. I've been wanting to improve my culinary skills. Great. Oh, and I was browsing online and found this pottery workshop. It's just a few sessions. Interested? Pottery sounds fun. Let's give it a shot. 
By the way, have you been to the new yoga studio in town? Not yet, but I've been eyeing it. Maybe we can try a class together. Absolutely, I could use some stretching. And speaking of fitness, what about that jogging group you were curious about? I've been contemplating joining them. Running with a group might be motivating. Definitely. It's great that we're exploring so many different hobbies together. It keeps life exciting, trying new things, and supporting each other's interests. Remember how we used to play board games every Friday night? Yeah, those game nights were a blast. We should start doing that again? Definitely. I've heard about this new game cafe downtown. They have a huge collection. Sounds awesome. And hey, I've been eyeing that guitar in the music store. You've been talking about learning guitar forever. Maybe it's time you finally got it. What about your calligraphy class? Did you enroll? I did. It's been relaxing. And I've been meaning to ask, have you considered trying out that photography workshop? I've been looking into it. Capturing moments seems like a great skill to learn. Speaking of skills, I found this online language course. Thought it might be fun to learn a new language together. That sounds intriguing. And remember the cooking contest at the community center? Maybe we can enter as a team. I love that idea. We could make our favorite dishes together. It's fantastic how our hobbies keep evolving and overlapping. Absolutely. It's like a journey of discovery we're on together. I've been thinking about taking up knitting. It seems relaxing. Knitting? That could be cool. I've been meaning to get back into sketching myself. Oh, you should. Remember how much you enjoyed it in college? Yeah. Those were good times. By the way, have you tried the new dance class at the gym? Not yet, but I heard it's a lot of fun. Maybe we could join it together. That sounds like a laugh. And what about that book club you mentioned? I've already started attending. It's a great way to discover new books and meet people. Nice. I might check it out, too. And have you seen the woodworking workshop downtown? Woodworking? That sounds intriguing. Maybe I could make something for the garden. Exactly. Plus, I've been meaning to get into biking. Do you fancy exploring trails together? Absolutely. That sounds like a fantastic way to stay active. It's incredible how our interests keep expanding. It keeps things exciting. Definitely. It's like we're constantly discovering new things about ourselves and each other. Husband and wife discussing a meal at home. What do you feel like having for dinner tonight? I'm in the mood for something comforting. How about spaghetti and meatballs? That sounds good. Do we have all the ingredients? I think so, but I can stop by the store on my way home from work just to make sure. Okay, I'll start prepping the sauce then. Should we make a salad too? Sure, that would be nice. And maybe some garlic bread if we have any? I'll check. What time do you think you'll be home? Probably be around 6.30 if traffic isn't too bad. Perfect. I'll aim to have everything ready by then. Sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to dinner. Me too. It'll be nice to have a homemade meal tonight. What do you feel like having for dinner tonight? How about we make tacos? It's been a while since we had those. Tacos sound great. Should we go for the classic beef or try something different like chicken? Let's switch it up and go with chicken. I'll swing by the store to grab the ingredients on my way home. Sounds good. I'll make sure we have all the seasonings and veggies we need. Should we also make some guacamole and salsa to go with it? Absolutely. I'll get started on those. Do you prefer hard shells or soft tortillas? Let's do both. Give ourselves some variety. Good idea. What time do you think you'll be home? Around 6, I think. Traffic's been a bit lighter lately. Perfect. That gives us enough time to prep everything. And we can set up a little taco station for assembling our own. It'll be fun. Definitely. I'll make sure to have everything ready by the time you're home. Looking forward to it. Tacos are always a hit. I was thinking, along with the tacos, should we make some rice and beans as sides? That sounds like a great addition. Do we have all the ingredients for those? I believe so, but I'll double check. And how about dessert? Should we make something or just have some ice cream? Let's keep it simple with ice cream. I'll pick up a pint of chocolate on my way back. Perfect. I'll set the table and get the toppings ready for the tacos. Maybe we can light some candles, too. Make it a cozy dinner. That's a lovely idea. I'll make sure we have them handy. And I'll set up some music to play in the background while we eat. Sounds like a plan. I'll get everything ready in the kitchen so we can start cooking as soon as you're home. Can't wait. It's going to be a delicious evening. Speaking of dinner, should we invite your brother over? He loves tacos. That's a good idea. 
I'll give him a call and see if he's free. If he can make it, I'll make a bit more of everything. Great. He'll love the idea. By the way, do we have enough cheese for the tacos? I'll check the fridge. We might need to grab some more while you're out. Sounds good. And I'll get some fresh cilantro, too. It adds a nice touch. Definitely, it'll enhance the flavors. Should we prepare some non-alcoholic beverages, too? Sure. How about some homemade lemonade? Perfect. I'll get the lemons ready, and we can squeeze them when you're back. Sounds like a plan. I'll make sure to grab a bag of ice for that, too. Everything's falling into place for a lovely dinner tonight. Absolutely. I can't wait to enjoy our homemade tacos. It's going to be such a nice evening cooking together and enjoying our meal. Definitely. These simple dinners at home always feel so special. And with a cozy setup and good food, it'll be perfect. Agreed. I'm glad we're spending this time together. I'll be home soon. Can't wait to see you. Safe travels and let's have a wonderful evening. Absolutely. Love you. Love you too. Husband and wife talk about children's future. Hey, I've been thinking about our future lately. Me too. In what way? Well, I was considering our plans for a family. I've been wondering how you feel about having children. Oh, I've thought about it too. I think I'd love to have kids eventually. What about you? I feel the same way. I think it would be incredible to start a family together. That's wonderful to hear. Do you have any timeline in mind? I haven't pinpointed an exact time, but maybe in the next couple of years. I want us to be prepared and ready. That sounds reasonable. I think it's important for us to be settled and comfortable before taking that step. Definitely, I want to make sure we're both in a good place emotionally, financially, and with our careers. Agreed. I'm glad we're having this conversation. It's reassuring to know we're on the same page about starting a family. Absolutely. I'm excited about the idea of us as parents one day. Me too. It's something to look forward to, building a family together. I've been thinking about how we'd raise our kids, you know? Yeah, me too. What are your thoughts on that? I think creating a supportive and nurturing environment is crucial, encouraging them to explore their passions and guiding the way. Absolutely, I agree. It's important to give them the freedom to discover their interests while offering guidance and support. And education-wise, I was thinking about the type of schooling. Have you considered that? I have. I believe a blend of traditional education and opportunities for experiential learning could be beneficial. That makes sense. I want them to have a well-rounded education that fosters creativity and critical thinking. Me too. I've been looking into extracurricular activities too. They need to explore hobbies and sports they enjoy. Definitely. I want them to have a balanced life, nurturing both their academic and personal growth. It's exciting to think about the possibilities and the kind of individuals they'll become. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to seeing how they'll grow and develop. Have you thought about how we'd balance work and family life when we have kids? It's been on my mind for sure. I think we'll need to find a good balance and support each other. Agreed. Maybe flexible work arrangements or shared responsibilities could help. That's a good idea. It's important to have that flexibility to be present for our children's milestones. Definitely. And how do you envision handling discipline? I believe in setting boundaries while also encouraging open communication and understanding. I agree. Consistency and communication will be key in teaching them right from wrong. Absolutely. It's crucial to guide them with love and patience. What about family traditions? Any ideas there? I'd love to create our family traditions. Holidays, outings, or even regular family game nights. That sounds wonderful. Making memories together will be so important for us and our future kids. Definitely. It's exciting to think about the family we'll build together. I couldn't agree more. I'm looking forward to it. Have you thought about how we could involve our families in our children's lives? I have. I think having a close-knit relationship with grandparents, aunts, and uncles can enrich our kids' lives. I agree. Family support and connections can be so valuable for them. And what about travel? Do you think it's important to expose them to different cultures and places? Absolutely. Experiencing different cultures can broaden their perspective and understanding of the world. I was also thinking about teaching them the importance of giving back and being empathetic to others. That's crucial. Instilling values of kindness and empathy early on is something I strongly believe in. 
And how do you feel about technology usage with our kids? It's a balancing act. Technology has its benefits, but we need to ensure they have a healthy relationship with it. I completely agree. Setting boundaries and teaching them about responsible usage will be key. I'm glad we're having these discussions. It's important to align on these aspects before we start a family. Absolutely. It's reassuring to know we share similar views and values in raising our future children. Have you thought about the kind of support system we might need for parenting? I think having a network of friends who are also parents could be beneficial. It's always helpful to have a community to lean on. Agreed. Parenting can have its challenges, and having friends who understand can make a huge difference. And what do you think about introducing them to music or arts at a young age? I think exposing them to different forms of expression early on can be so beneficial for their development. I was also considering languages. Do you think it would be a good idea to expose them to multiple languages? Absolutely. Bilingualism or even multilingualism can open up so many opportunities for them. That's what I was thinking, too. It'd be great for them to be able to communicate with people from different backgrounds. And have you thought about our roles as partners in parenting? I believe in being a team, supporting each other, and making decisions together. Completely agree. Our unity and support for each other will set a strong foundation for our children. I'm excited about the prospect of parenting with you. I think we'll make a great team. Me too. I have no doubt we'll navigate this journey together brilliantly. Thinking about our future family gets me excited. Me too. I can't wait for the day when we start this incredible journey together. It's going to be an adventure, but one I'm eager to take with you. I feel the same way. I'm grateful to have you by my side in this. We'll learn and grow together, and I have no doubt we'll be amazing parents. Absolutely. Our love and support for each other will be the foundation for our family. Here's to our future, filled with love, laughter, and the joy of raising our children together. Cheers to that. I love you. I love you too, always and forever. Husband and wife talk about new house. I was thinking about our living situation lately. Me too. Do you think it's time for us to consider buying a house? Absolutely. I believe it's a good step forward for us. Have you started looking at listings? I've browsed a bit online. I think it's time we start seriously considering our options. Agreed. Do you have any specific preferences for the house? I'd love a place with a backyard for gardening. What about you? I've been eyeing houses with a garage for a small workshop. Space for hobbies would be great. That sounds perfect. We should also consider good school districts if we plan for the future. Definitely. Should we schedule meetings with a real estate agent to start exploring properties? I think that's a good idea. They can guide us through the process and show us potential homes. Should we also start getting our finances in order, considering mortgage options? Yes, we should gather all necessary documents for pre-approval. It'll make the process smoother. Agreed. This is an exciting step for us. I can't wait to find our dream home together. Have you thought about the location? Any preferences? I've been leaning towards a suburban area with good access to parks and amenities. Sounds good. I've been considering the commute, too. A place not too far from work would be ideal. That makes sense. And what about the size of the house? How many bedrooms do you think we need? I think a three-bedroom could work. One for us, one for a guest room, and another for a future office or nursery. That sounds practical. Should we also think about the style of the house? Maybe a modern or a cozy traditional style? I like the idea of a cozy traditional home. What about you? I agree. It has a warm feel to it, especially if we plan to start a family. Should we consider new constructions or existing homes? Any preferences? I've seen some lovely existing homes, but a new construction would let us add our personal touch. True, that could be appealing. Shall we start researching neighborhoods and make a list of must-haves? Definitely. We should prioritize our needs and wants to narrow down our search. This process feels exciting, planning our future home together. Absolutely. I can't wait to make a house our own home. Do you think we should consider any specific amenities in the neighborhood? I'd love it if we're close to recreational areas like parks or trails for walks. That's a good idea. And maybe a community center nearby for activities. Exactly. What about the kitchen? 
Any particular features you'd like? A spacious kitchen with a breakfast nook would be amazing. What do you think? I agree. It'd be great for morning coffee or casual meals. How about the backyard? Should we look for a large one or a more manageable size? I think something manageable with space for a small garden would be perfect. Agreed. And a deck or patio area for outdoor gatherings would be a nice touch. Definitely. It'd be wonderful for entertaining friends and family. Shall we also consider the resale value of the house in the future? It's a good point. A home that holds its value or has potential for appreciation would be wise. I'm thrilled about the possibilities of finding the right place for us. Me too. It's like imagining a future chapter in our lives. What about the neighborhood safety? Do you have any concerns? Safety is essential. I've been researching areas with low crime rates and good community watch programs. That's smart. And schools, have you checked the ratings for the nearby ones? Yes, I've been looking into that too. It's important to have good schools, even if we're not starting a family immediately. Absolutely. Shall we create a list of questions to ask the realtor when we start visiting properties? Good idea. Questions about the house's history, renovations, and neighborhood amenities would be crucial. And how do you feel about home inspections? Do you think it's necessary? Definitely. It's a significant investment, so a thorough inspection can give us peace of mind. Should we start planning a budget for potential expenses and down payments? Yes, let's sit down and calculate our finances to understand what we can comfortably afford. This feels like a big step, but I'm excited about the journey of finding our dream home. Me too. It's a bit overwhelming, but imagining our future there makes it all worth it. What about the commute to work from potential neighborhoods? Any concerns? I've been mapping out the commute times during rush hours. It's crucial for convenience. Good thinking. Do you think we should prioritize a move-in ready house? Or are we open to fixer-uppers? I think we're open to both. A move-in ready home saves time, but a fixer-upper could let us personalize it. That's true. We could make it our own. What are your thoughts on proximity to shopping and services? I'd prefer easy access to grocery stores, medical facilities, and entertainment options. Agreed. Having these conveniences nearby makes life easier. What's our timeline for this house hunt? I'd say within the next few months, but we should take our time to find the right fit. Sounds good. And what do you think about potential renovation projects after moving in? I think gradual improvements to tailor the house to our preferences could be exciting. I'm thrilled about the idea of turning a house into our home, making it uniquely ours. Me too. It's like starting a new chapter of our lives together. Planning this new chapter with you is exciting. Absolutely. I'm grateful we're taking this journey together. We'll find our perfect home, one that fits us just right. Definitely. Our dream home is out there waiting for us. I can't wait to make memories and build our lives there. Me too. Our future home will be filled with love and laughter. Here's to finding our dream house and making it our own. Cheers to that. I love you. I love you too, always and forever. Conversation between a husband and wife discussing their busy schedules at work. It feels like work has been non-stop lately, doesn't it? Tell me about it. It's been hectic at the office with all these new projects. I've been swamped with meetings, barely getting time to focus on my tasks. Same here. The deadlines seem to be piling up faster than I can tackle them. I've been putting in extra hours just to keep up with the workload. Me too. Sometimes it feels like there aren't enough hours in a day. I know, right? And the constant emails and calls make it hard to disconnect. Absolutely. Even after leaving the office, work seems to follow us home. It's challenging, but I'm grateful for your support during these crazy weeks. Likewise. Having your understanding means a lot. We make a great team managing our busy schedules. Definitely. We've got each other's backs through the chaos. Here's to hoping for a breather soon and a chance to unwind together. Absolutely. A relaxing weekend ahead sounds like just what we need. I feel like I'm juggling multiple things at once lately. I know what you mean. It's like a constant balancing act, isn't it? Absolutely. And it's not just work, but the never-ending stream of emails and notifications. I've been trying to schedule breaks during the day to stay focused and not burn out. That's smart. I should do the same. Sometimes it feels like I'm glued to my desk. 
I completely understand. I've been sneaking in short walks to clear my head. It's essential to take those breaks. Otherwise, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. I agree. And I appreciate your support when I need to stay late to meet deadlines. Of course. We're a team, and supporting each other through these busy periods is crucial. Definitely. Even though it's stressful, I'm grateful we can rely on each other. Absolutely. It's comforting to know we're in this together, navigating the ups and downs of our jobs. Here's to hoping for a bit of a slowdown soon and more quality time together. Cheers to that. I'm looking forward to some downtime and relaxation together. Lately, it feels like there's a never-ending to-do list at work. I know, right? It's like every time I finish one task, three more pop up. I've been trying to prioritize, but it's challenging with so many urgent tasks. I completely understand. Sometimes it's hard to keep up with everything. And the constant meetings throughout the day make it tough to focus on actual work. Tell me about it. It's like bouncing from one meeting to the next without a breather. I've been trying to block off chunks of time just to get some uninterrupted work done. That's a good strategy. I might need to start doing that, too. And then there's the pressure to always be available, even after hours. I've been trying to set boundaries, but it's tough with the workload. Your support during these intense work phases means a lot to me. Same here. Having your understanding makes it easier to manage the workload. Absolutely. We're a great team, navigating these busy periods together. Here's to hoping for a bit of a slowdown soon and some well-deserved relaxation. Cheers to that. A relaxing weekend sounds like the perfect reset. I've been feeling the pressure to keep up with the pace of everything lately. It's been a whirlwind, hasn't it? Balancing deadlines and meetings seems never-ending. And it's not just the workload, it's the mental exhaustion, too. I've been trying mindfulness exercises to help, but it's a constant battle. I should consider that, too. Clearing the mind is crucial amidst the chaos. Absolutely. It's essential to find moments of calm amid the chaos. I'm grateful for your patience when work spills over into our time. I understand it's all part of the hustle. We support each other through it. Definitely. It's inspiring how we navigate this together despite the craziness. I couldn't agree more. Our teamwork helps us stay grounded during these times. Here's to hoping for some lighter work days and more moments to recharge. Absolutely. Looking forward to some quality downtime to unwind together. It's in these moments I appreciate our support for each other even more. Me too. It's a reminder that we can tackle anything as long as we're together. Sometimes it feels like work is consuming every moment of the day. I hear you. It's like there's a constant pressure to keep pushing forward. I've been trying to find ways to manage stress. Exercise seems to help. That's a good idea. I've been doing yoga to find some peace amidst the chaos. Smart move. It's crucial to find those moments to recharge. Agreed. How do you manage the constant flow of emails and calls? I've been setting specific times to check emails to avoid being on call 24 7 I should try that, too. It's challenging to disconnect completely. And the pressure to always perform at the top of our game can be draining. Absolutely. It's like the bar keeps getting higher each day. Your understanding when I have those late nights at work means a lot. I understand the demands. We're in this together, supporting each other. Indeed. Our teamwork in handling these challenging phases is impressive. Definitely. It strengthens us knowing we navigate through this united. Here's to us. Weathering these storms and coming out stronger. Cheers to that. To us and to find balance amid the chaos. Lately, it's felt like work is consuming most of our days. I know, right? Balancing work, demands, and personal time seems tougher than ever. And there's this constant need to stay ahead, which can be overwhelming. I've been trying to set clearer boundaries to maintain a work-life balance. That's smart. I've been considering a similar approach to avoid burnout. It's tough when work follows us home, though. It's like there's no real off button. I get that. Disconnecting from work mentally can be as hard as physically leaving the office. And it's not just about work demands. It's about finding time for ourselves, too. Absolutely. Taking breaks and finding hobbies outside work is crucial for mental well-being. Your support during these intense work phases is invaluable to me. Likewise. 
Knowing we're in this together helps us navigate these challenges. We make a great team, handling these demanding periods with grace. Indeed. Our teamwork is one of the reasons we managed to pull through. Here's to hoping for a breather soon and some quality time together. Cheers to that. Looking forward to a bit of relaxation and time for us. I've been thinking about how we can make our workdays smoother. That's a good point. Any ideas on how we can manage our tasks better? Well, maybe organizing tasks by priority could help. It might give us a clearer focus. I agree. Having a structured plan could make it easier to tackle our workload. And what about scheduling regular short breaks during the day? It might help with productivity. That sounds like a good strategy. Taking small breaks could refresh our minds. Also, what do you think about setting boundaries for work emails after a certain hour? I think it's a great idea. It's essential to disconnect and have personal time in the evenings. Maybe we should also consider delegating tasks when possible. It could lighten the load. Absolutely. Sharing tasks could free up time for more critical responsibilities. And how about a weekly review of our schedules together? It could help us stay on track. That's a good suggestion. A weekly check-in would allow us to realign our priorities. Your input and collaboration in finding these solutions are so valuable to me. Same here. Working together to improve our work routines is key. We're quite the team when it comes to finding ways to manage our workload. Definitely. Our teamwork makes handling these challenges feel more manageable. I've been considering incorporating technology to enhance our efficiency. What do you think? That's a great idea. Using productivity apps or tools could help us stay organized.